In this episode of Trying Something New, we are leaving the Northeast, which has been pretty gloomy, and heading back down to Island Life in the Florida Keys. 1,200 miles, here we come. All right, Florida Keys, here we come. Let's get on the road. Woo! All right, before I'm leaving here, it seems like I'm missing some kids here. Some of my crew's gone, so I gotta go find them. I think they're at the playground. All right, I think I see them down here. What's up, guys? Let's go! Bye. See you later, have fun. We don't, we don't say, say goodbye, goodbye, we say until we meet again. <laughs> Try something new! All right, guys, we gotta get on the road. Bye. We're only seven hours behind schedule, but that's how we roll. Just seven hours behind schedule. It's a win for today. <laughs> One of the interesting things about getting out of here is these are mountain roads and uh, we're in a giant bus and it's really hard to navigate on these roads. So let's see how good we do. You guys think we're gonna make it? Yeah. No. Roads are horrendous. Be lucky if the RV don't fall apart. All right, so we're putting $100 in the gas tank right now. But uh, we're trying to get to Richmond, Virginia today. It's about 350 miles. GPS says about eight hours, so we'll see if we can make it. If not, we might be stopping at a restaurant. We're calling it a little bit early since we got such a late start today. So let's see what happens. So I don't know if you can tell by the weather outside, but it is doom and gloom. We are in the middle of July. This is supposed to be summertime epicness. And we got some uh, nasty weather out here. It's been like this for a couple weeks, so that is one reason why we are excited to get out of this area. Let's get to some open roads, nice and smooth, and some sunshine. Sunshine keys. All right, we just crossed the state line. We are now in Virginia, and we said, you know what? This is a good place to spend the night. And uh, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> Did a gnat? Fly into your throat? I don't know what happened. I need a drink of water, apparently. Virginia's for lovers! So we just got done driving how many miles? 200, 250? I don't even know. I think know. close to 300. Close to 300 miles. We're gonna stop here at the Welcome to Virginia Welcome Center. And uh, it looks like uh, Virginia's for lovers, so. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're in the right spot. Oh. 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 What you got? I caught a firefly. Oh, let's see if it lights up. One of these rigs is doing its own thing. All right, day two, y'all. Just waking up here at the truck stop. We're gonna get on the road here in a sec. I love hitting the road when everybody's asleep because they wake up. We got a couple hours in, and uh, yeah, it's just a cool feeling. Good morning. What's up? You ready, you ready to hit the road? <laughs> I'm good. So. Let's go. Right. So here we go, day two. And today, our goal is to get to Savannah, Georgia. That's quite a bit of a drive. I don't know if it's gonna happen today, all in one shot, but that's the goal. The sooner we get down to the Keys, the better. So, let's see how far we get. Actually, I think I might take one last bathroom stop. All right, so I'm driving behind Jimmy, and it's pretty uh, anticlimactic. Sometimes watching Jimmy back into a spot yeah, you gotta, to get gas. You gotta get, you gotta get in where you can fit it's in right there. pretty comical. <laughs> pretty good. He, he drives this thing like it's a little Corvette and it's hysterical to me. That was, uh, that was impressive. <laughs> That's what I do, I impress you. I feel like travel days are consumed with gas and traveling. What do you think? A lot, yeah. <laughs> a lot of gas, a lot of hundred dollar Phillips. Oh, we're gonna max it out and have to reload it. All right guys, we just made it into North Carolina. We gotta pull over and do a little potty break here. You guys hungry? I'm out! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, What's going man. on? I made myself <laughs> Oh man, what a crappy travel day. <laughs> Yikes. So apparently the kids are having ice cream cones before they had lunch. I don't even know if they had breakfast because- I have pop tarts. They're manning themselves. I so daddy, are you having fun in here with three kids? Amped out on sugar. I don't know, I kind of check out because all I'm doing is listening to Sailing Podcast. Are you really? <laughs> all right, after driving for hours and hours and hours, and then a couple more hours, sometimes you gotta get out and stretch the legs a little bit. And that right, Ryder? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get all your wiggles out, huh? You wanna race? Yeah. Let's go. Are you okay? Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I just slipped. One thing that we have to remember that we always forget is if we stop for half an hour, it adds a half an hour onto our journey. And if we make three or four stops all day long for a half an hour, um, that adds two hours onto our journey. So we got to be mindful of that along the way. I feel like we're in one of those sailing videos where the weather is turning bad and we gotta find out where the storm's coming from. Rada, can you imagine being out in the ocean, open ocean when this stuff like this is going down? But this weather is uh, bananas. Can't see uh, more than 100 feet in front of us. Mama! <laughs> What's going on out here? I'm gonna be my dad! Get in, quick! Oh! Seriously, I'm trembling right now. I could not see. I said, I'm going to crash right now! Oh my god, and I go, what the hell is he going through back there? I don't think I've ever been that scared in my life. I had as fast as I could and I could not see and thank god everybody was going slow. Because I'm like, I just want to cry right now. Oh, when I saw a gas exit, I'm like, screw that! I almost didn't, I almost passed the exit. I ran over like a 2 by 4 because I'm like, that's the exit! Get the hell off this thing! So I wanted to run out here to get a shot of the RV. And uh, yeah, we're standing in some mud. That will definitely wake you up out here. <laughs> so what do we do? Stay here and wait it out or venture on? That's the question. We might have to wait it out for a little bit. We're gonna check the weather, that's a good idea. Let's check the weather and see what uh, the future holds for us. Just a little rain, nothing crazy. It's absolute downpour, torrential downpour. Zero visibility on the highway, like zero. I was almost crying. All right, so what happened, Jimmy? All right, so I look over here and there's water leaking everywhere in the door. I'm like, oh my God, we got a leak. Is the door closed all the way, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> the door's closed, baby, the door's closed. Looks like the torrential downpour has stopped, hopefully forever, <laughs> and we're gonna hit the road again. It was pretty crazy. All right, so as we leave here, we have to go through some massive lakes. So let's see if we can get through here without sinking and have a water come in. We should be all right. And away we go. Let's get back on the road again. Now we can see, and it feels a little bit more safe. Maybe except for my windshield wipers are now stuck in the middle of the windshield, which is kind of interesting. Let's take a look. A few moments later. <laughs> Here comes the rain again. The funny thing is, I think my windshield wipers just went out because they're not doing anything when I turn them on. Just when you thought it was interesting enough, you go through a torrential downpour and your windshield wipers don't work. It's time to man up, boys. Let's see if we can make it through. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. <laughs> Looks like we're coming into another state here, guys, but I can't see any signs. South Carolina, guys, South Carolina! I'm gonna pull over for a second and see if I can't get these windshield wipers fixed. All right, so we got a little bit of news that we're gonna break to Sandy here. Okay, ready, three? Two, one. The windshield wipers aren't working. <laughs> they haven't been working for about 25 minutes for this whole thing. They're stuck in the middle. <laughs> All right, so I turned the windshield wipers on from the inside, so we're gonna come outside and see if uh, if we manually is, help uh, them work. I think they seized up. All that I think they were working so hard. All that rain and rust in Pennsylvania got them seized up. I guess that's it. We got a man up and weather the storm, guys. Oh man, so the license plate flew off of the back of the RV, and I ran it over. So let's see. Oh, so it's just the plate itself. When you're just pushing hard and journeying, things happen. It is a little hot. We need a dance that makes the rain stop. So we're in South Carolina getting some gas, and the kids said they found a gun over here. So let's go check it out. Pick it up. Let's not pick it up. Find we are not putting our fingerprints on that, okay? Let I go. watch videos you guys, where they... Hey, you guys got to know some uh, street credibility here. When you find I... a gun, you never pick it up because then your fingerprints go on it. And if there is any crime committed with that gun, now you're the guilty person well, associated Ryder with that gun. It. 
Looks like is it plastic? It says something on there. Daisy Outdoor Product. It says Daisy. Yeah. yeah. All right, kids. There's your lesson on how to not to get caught doing a crime. Use your feet to kick it. <laughs> All right, guys. We made it to Georgia. Georgia. Guys, we made it to Georgia. Yay. Oh, man. Should we call it a night, guys, for over 500 miles? Oh, yeah. We're doing good? Let's be done. Let's see if we can park somewhere in here. You better bring the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> you better bring the I've vodka. I've never been so happy to pull up behind you and stop for the night. Never in my life. And I hope tomorrow is a way better travel day because I'm over this crap. I realize that this never comes off. It doesn't. What? I realize that this never comes off. Yeah. So I don't know if we're cheap or we're practical or what it is. this guy about staying at a rest stop? That is him. <laughs> I go, like, babe, I can start let's looking at, get an at RV, RV spot. parks. I'm he like, goes, well, why would we stay at an RV park? And I go, power, air conditioning, I don't know. How about you man up and just get through it? It's not about manning up though, it's about comfort. You know what? Getting outside of your comfort zones uh, develops yada, yada, yada. character. That's what I'm talking about. So we're sleeping in here tonight in the RV park with all the other truckers. If they can pull it off, we can pull it off. And so far we save 120 bucks. All right, we're getting ready to start day three here. Yesterday we drove 520 miles. Today hopefully we'll get in about 500, which will take us to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, Sandy's gonna do a no rain dance today because yesterday was absolutely treacherous, torrential downpour. Let's woo! get to it, here we go. Uh, no rain woo! dance! All right, we've been in traffic for about 45 minutes here and we're finally coming up on what happened. And I don't know, what it, What do you guys think that is? I think it's a burnt down RV. It's a burnt down RV maybe? That'd be crazy if it is. All right, guys, Florida welcomes you. Are you welcome to be in Florida? <laughs> All right, we just drove a thousand miles to get to Florida. The sun uh, shines today. We got about two or 300 more miles to go. We're almost there, guys, but at least we're in the right state at this point. Yes! We're, like, <laughs> we're in the right state. You get it? We're in the, the right state. The sunshine state, state, and it's hot and humid. <laughs> feel it already. Perfect. Coming into this kind of a climate again makes me feel like I want to be active again. I'm like, all right, I want to go rollerblading. Let's get our weights set up outside. We got to work out every day. You feel good. You want to go out. You want to go in the water. I mean, it's yeah, a completely different mindset which is kind of crazy, right? It's like, you just change your climate and the surroundings and instantly I'm like back on. Fire and all of cylinders. So in the, I'm not meant to be in the woods. I can't, <laughs> not me. All right, we got two and a half hours left to Fort Lauderdale, which will be our destination for today. And yes, we will be staying in an RV park. Thank you. Because it's getting hot and uh, no AC at night is not fun. All right, Jimmy just pulled over to a rest stop. So I'm ready to stop because I have to go to the bathroom and I'm so stiff. <laughs> Let's see what they're doing over here. Oh, I hear loud music. I think we might be getting a little stir crazy on this drive so far. I'm painting. That everybody's kind of like, I'm ready. I'm ready for it to be over. What are you doing next? I'm painting. In oh, a chair, not wow. even at the table. Very cute. I think we're ready. We're ready to get there. How much longer? Uh. All right, guys, we made it to Fort Lauderdale. 432 miles. Who's excited to be here? Me. Who's excited to stop driving for the day? Me. Who wants to go to dinner? Me. Hey. Okay, Big Daddy. All right, and just like that, we are home sweet home. I think I just might melt out of this door here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, hell no. Hell oh, no. Man. 950 miles in two days? How you, feel? How you feeling, little guy? Good. Good? Well, Sky is done being in the RV as well, I guess. <laughs> All right, it's day four. 
I think we're all ready to get to our destination. <laughs> I'm done driving. And luckily, we front loaded a lot of miles. So today, we only have what, 150 left? Let's get to the keys, oh, baby. Oh, I we're can't wait to be driving sunshine. over the bridge. Blue water on both sides. Maybe a few dolphins will come out. Let's but you know what? Started. We're going to stop at Costco on the way and stock up the whole RV so that way we're good for a while. And uh, yeah, Let's day four. Going. Let's go. So this ought to be interesting to try to vlog through Costco. All right. Show so, all the crap that we can't you know, live without the, in the RV life. The one thing about living in the Keys, staying in the Keys, is the supermarkets, he has very limited to what they have. And we like very specific things. So we figure the easiest way while we're passing through Miami is to stock up on the stuff we like. That way I don't have to make so many trips to the supermarket down there and get stuff we really don't want. Oh, Ooh, vanilla okay. ice cream, that looks good. No. It's always fun to come in the freezing section of Costco. And we meet again. Your hair is so silky. Man, I really want to go to Fiji. We're here. I wonder how soft Ultra Soft is. So I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Clean. Does super coffee make you super? Is Mountain Dew made from the mountains? When you have a friend named Gert, go Gert! Come on, you can do it with the face! Drumsticks, where's the drum? Fiesta blend. Guess where we're going? Fiesta Kids! Country Town Lemonade from 1943. I'm a huge monster. Oh my gosh. Can you take a hint? I'm not. I think I just found Coronavirus's sister. Coronavirus. Costco is overwhelming sometimes. So I, I need to go back to the freezer section. All right, Costco run is complete. Spent 400 buckaroos, and man, that $400 went way further here than in a regular supermarket. All right, only two hours left till we get to the Keys. Two hours till the blue water. I can already feel the ocean air. I love it. Do we have to put all this away now? Yep, me too. Assembly line. Hopefully this is our last fill up before we get down to the Keys, our last $100 stop. All right, so if I was ever gonna stay in a house, which we're probably not, this is the dream car right here, 1964, Lincoln Continental Convertible, all black and chromed out. Did that you roll in on that? pretty car, and yes, I would. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a different hairstyle because I think my mohawk would be like, Whoa! This is the car JFK goes found in. All right, guys, how do you feel? Do you feel like we're coming home? Does it feel somebody, like a home coming to you? Somebody, yeah. yeah, a little bit. Oh man, we got about 30 miles left. These keys go on for a long time, but it sure is beautiful, so and I don't mind. All right, guys, we are officially on the seven mile bridge. You guys know how long this bridge is? Seven miles. Here you go. Right now, as we pull in the gate at Sunshine Key. Oh goodness! All right, we have officially landed. We got to get to sunset. All right, so literally, we just pulled in, and our bud over here, Nikki, was like, "Hi," and I'm like, "What? How random!" That as we're pulling in, 
we see her. So she's giving us a ride to watch the sunset. Thanks for the ride. Cheers. Oh, let's get you on video. Yeah, we're doing wrapping up our video here. Where's your, where's your RV? It's right over there. We just pulled in two minutes ago. Yeah, that's awesome. We got to see the sunset. Like, How cool is that? They saw, they saw us in a Grateful Vampers video. So how cool is that? All right. So one thing that I don't think we mentioned on this whole journey is today is is me and Sandy's oh, yes. 14th wedding anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary, baby. 14 years. So what we were trying to do is get down here to the southernmost point on the dock. To see the sunset, I think we succeeded. We did it. How the heck did that happen? <laughs> With all the craziness of this oh, trip. Oh my god, we made it. We made it. Just the sunset here. In time. Do you guys, do you guys, do you guys want to see what we're looking at? Hold on. Yes. Do you want to see what we're looking at? We made it. It's so warm. Last time. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. We just wrapped up four days, almost 1,200 miles. I don't know how many hours and rainstorms with millions. no winter wipers. Millions of miles. Uh, from New York to the Florida Keys. Million miles. And we're finally here. We arrived just in time to watch an epic sunset, guys. How do you feel? It is our anniversary. And it's our Literally anniversary. 14 year anniversary. We're so glad we made it to the Florida Keys. Yes. We are ready to be back 14, and have fun. 14 years ago today, we were in Cozumel getting married getting on the beach. Getting married on the so beach. I think Get it's out fitting. there and try, try something new! new. Woo! Yeah, Love it, you gotta see the sunset. So <laughs> yeah. It's a cute, it's a cute you have the dad on. Every day, you try something new.